So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0088 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Honda P0088 code? Well, it's a fuel rail system pressure too high. And what does this mean? Well, many newer Hondas have what's called GDI engines, which is short for gasoline direct injection. And these high pressure fuel pumps push fuel into the engine at very high pressures. And this can have a lot of benefits. The engine can get better emissions, it get better fuel economy, it can have more power at higher RPMs and things like this. And this type of system is going to have two fuel pumps. You're going to have one inside the gas tank that's putting out low pressure and pushing the fuel up to the engine. And then you're going to have a high pressure fuel pump that's up on top of the engine that's pushing out very high pressure. And that's the basics of what's going on. And so what would be some causes of a Honda with the P0088 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this problem is going to be a bad fuel pressure sensor. It could be bad and just reporting bad data back to the onboard computer. And so there might not be no problem inside the system, but the onboard computer thinks there is since this fuel pressure sensor has gone bad. So if you're driving the vehicle and you don't see any difference in the way you're driving or anything like this, there's no issues going on, but you're getting this code, then you might have a bad fuel rail pressure sensor. And also keep in mind that wiring, fuses, or relays that's going to the fuel rail pressure sensor. If there's anything going on there, like a blowing fuse, bad relay, an open short, anything along these lines, then that can also cause issues. So that's something to keep in mind. But the first thing on the list is gonna be a bad fuel rail pressure sensor or something in the wiring, open short, blown fuse or a bad relay. The next thing that can cause this problem is gonna be a bad high pressure fuel pump. This is gonna be located up on top of the engine and there's some different components going on with the high pressure fuel pump. It's gonna have wiring connections, so you would wanna look at that because anything wrong with the wiring is gonna cause the same issues as a bad fuel pump. These also have what's called a roller or a follower. And what's going on with these right here is that this rides on top of the cam. That follower is gonna ride on this cam lobe and that's what's making it pump at high pressure. There's a really strong spring that's also part of this and it all works together to pump that fuel pump very rapidly and at high pressure. And if anything goes wrong with this roller, if it gets damaged or anything like that, then it can cause issues. Also, if that cam load becomes worn or anything like that, then that can also cause issues. So that's something else to keep in mind. Another thing that could cause this problem is gonna be a bad timing chain or timing belt. If it becomes really loose or if it skips a notch and knocks the timing off or anything like this, then that can also cause issues. There's gonna be timing markers on the timing chain or timing belt and on the crank, and they all need to line up. And if they don't line up, if one of these skip a notch and it's off, then that's gonna cause issues. Usually you get other codes with this. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But the next thing that could cause this is gonna be a bad timing chain or timing belt. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with the P0088 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.